Like. Today we're gonna be looking at the worst rated Indian restaurants in Sydney and we're gonna compare it to the best rated Indian restaurants in Sydney. Our first restaurant, Bombay Tandoori Indian Restaurant. Let's go. Okay, there are Google ratings and there are Zaddy ratings. Google rates this as a 3.7 stars, but we're gonna look at the SPAT rating. The SPAT rating follows this, S-P-A-T-T. -T. S stands for service, P stands for presentation, A stands for ambiance, T stands for toilets, and other T stands for? Taste. Taste. <laughs> the most important Taste, part. the most important one. Now before we go in, we're gonna look at some of the reviews. First review by Dev Barnes. Only my second visit to the place to be greeted by a rude and unwelcoming young girl who was given a tiny tray with a ridiculously amount of rice and no more than two tablespoons of mains that consists of gravy with four pieces of meat. Fair enough, Deb. I got zero cutlery or napkins and to top it all off, eggplant and potatoes had 90% potatoes and 10% eggplant. We should definitely get some eggplant and tomatoes. Potatoes. No! Are you supposed to do that? Do it with me. Not the freshest. Not the freshest. Now, butter chicken. The best of all. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Tastes like it's straight out of a jar. It's the worst part of chicken I've ever had. <laughs> I don't even need it. I think? Definitely, I rate that butter chicken like a, a six. What do you rate it? Four. Oh. Damn. The thing with food, food's a very hard subject. It's very subjective. Mm -hmm. You have different tastes to me, and I have different tastes to you. You also have different tastes to me. Ass is ass though. What do you think of the service? They told us exactly what we wanted to do. Yeah. They told us the deal straight away. The only face? Told us what's spicy, what's not spicy. 10 out of 10. S E R V I C. Presentation, I think it's a good 9. A 9 or. A, I don't know how is this supposed to look. 6. That's probably a 9. I don't even know if they have toilets. And A. And A. So they didn't really have any sanitizer. Sanitization stations. Sanitize my hands. I always like that little bit of sanitizing, just in case there's no toilets, so I can get my hands clean. Last one, most important one. Taste. So I think overall, I'll give it a six. We're now in our second location the shopping center. A different location, it's a part of the food court this time. Mumbai Express, rated the lowest actually a part of our worst restaurants. So it's actually a 2.3, but we don't know if it passes the SPAT rating, but we'll see, read some reviews and look into it. Okay, now <laughs> reviews. Angel Wu said, underwhelming and pricey. Food and service is terrible, which is such a shame. Sassy ass the servers. That's crazy. We'll talk to the service and see if they're good actually. Probably the worst place to have lunch in Broadway shopping center. Butter chicken had no flavor as usual as any fast food place. They gave you way too much rice and garlic naan was like cardboard. Dang, Gordon. Fair enough, Gordon. But we'll be the judge of that butter chicken. This is butter chicken. Uh -huh. This is beef fundaloo, vindaloo. This is the lowest no, rating Mumbai fresh. Express. It's on the table. Fresh, no. It's not on the table. This part wasn't, this that's part what makes it. That's what makes it yum. Butter chicken. <laughs> this is butter chicken. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Really? Now beef really. fundaloo. This is spicy, by the way. This is spicy. How spicy? I find no. it spicy. Are you good with spice? Yeah. yeah no, 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 no. I'm not good at spice. I'm good with spice. No, I'm not good at spice. <laughs> What about, no what about your life story? Time. What do you want to achieve in life? It's not spicy? It's like a bit spicy. We got water over there, but I lips that, but, and he lips that too. Rate this out of taste? Nine. Fair enough. That. Okay. Thank you. We got the butter chicken and we got the buffalo vadula. 
<laughs> Beef Bindaloo. Beef Bindaloo. And right off the back to when I was going in, I saw the first S coming in. And that lady put the ass in sass. Because <laughs> she was pretty sassy, but if we're if we're gonna be real here, that's just the Indian way. Because I feel like all those reviews were a bit maybe not people who were Indian. I feel like she was just the natural sass of Indian people. And in terms of rice, she gave us rice rice. Like, that's a lot of rice. Maybe a bit more curry could have been served. And the curry looks a bit watery to me. But service, I think I give that a three. Because it was better than usual. She smiled and but a bit of sass. But that's natural. That's the Indian way. You just gotta deal with it sometimes, guys. In a nice way. I'm eating the butter chicken first. This is garlic naan. Okay. I don't know if you okay. I'm gonna get some chicken first and some rice. Honestly, nothing special. I think it's just mediocre. There's no sweetness, there's no spice. This is butter chicken. A bit of water in it, in the curry. Here we go. It's a bit chewy. That's okay, spicy. Sweat. You know, it's that spice where, like, this is spicy. Let's keep going. It's that spice where it's like, it's spicy. Don't keep going. Yeah, they didn't give any spoons. Maybe because they thought we were brown. But the thing is, that's fine. But then but that's give fine. us tissues. But then give us tissues. Or hand sanitizer at least. Good flavor, good spice. Not too runny. Really spicy, but I like spicy. Beef, good quality. But three pieces of beef. For how much? $17? And it's express takeaway, so it should be cheap. Presentation. Two out of five. The rice just like took everything apart. I didn't get my ambiance, feng shui set out of it. The ambiance at the restaurant did say India, like Mumbai, so fair enough. I give that a three. Nothing too special, that's why it's not a four or a five. Tea, toilet, it's the, it's the shopping center toilet. That's kind of a set 2.5. And last tea, taste, I give that a three. It's better than the last place. Even though it's a 2.3 out of five, I think still the taste is still not that bad. For the moment you've all been waiting for, the best rated Indian restaurant right here, right now. We're here in... I don't know where this place is, but we're near the cricket grounds near Moore Park. Somewhere in this area. This is called Indian Home Diner. The reason why we went to this place is because it's a hidden gem. They serve a kebab butter chicken. Now that's 4.2 stars on Google reviews. So this is your top rated Indian restaurants. We're gonna keep going and check it out. Let's go. What is up? India. <laughs> okay, we're here in Indian home diner with my friend. Okay, we wanna get the famous, I had this famous store, the Indian butter chicken wrap. Done. Yeah, can we just get one, please? Sure. <laughs> uh, we'll get cheese garlic. So we're going to fresh naan, yeah? Yeah, fresh naan. Done. All good. Thank you. What's this? Meat and yogurt sauce. Meat, meat and yogurt? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. Then you put that on the garlic naan? Yeah. Okay. Good. We're okay. We'll wait. This does well on the spat zaddy rating. Service, beautiful. Ambiance is really good because it's like a home diner type thing. And yeah. then toilets, maybe. Might be a little bit better, maybe sanitization. Butter chicken sauce, sure. <laughs> yum yum, yum yum, yum yum. So they put chicken tikka on it. Ah. That's onion or potato? Mmm. The bin sauce. Yogurt and meat. Beautiful. Just like you. What the mis del? <laughs> oh my god. This is like mixed with onion and chicken tikka and butter chicken sauce plus plus a potato and plus that sauce. Oh, no, taste it, taste it, taste it right now. Mmm! That's beautiful. Spat rating. <laughs> He's fat when you said spat. Service, 10 out of 10. Presentation. Presentation, beautiful, but a little bit like 
Messi. Like, you know you're gonna get messy. Which is fine, maybe, for some people. That's what, that, it, is, it, is, what it, is. it is what it is. So we'll give a... Four. It's four! Yeah. Because... I mean, again. That's just, just who they are. A, ambiance. Ambiance is really nice and cozy, like a diner, like, mm -hmm. really, like, cafe-type vibe. T, toilet, we didn't <laughs> check it out. Um, not, not bad, toilet, but... <laughs> taste... I give that a five. This is actually a really good butter chicken. Oh, you mean five out of five? For taste. Oh, you were, you were rating out of five now for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. We have finally made it to the last highest rated Indian restaurant. We are here at the Grand Palace Indian Restaurant. The final chapter. The final beginning. Highest rated Indian restaurant. The final destination. Premium water from a premium waiter. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Perfect service out of the back. Greeted me and you like met with like a smell. Like a smell of like ginger, light smell. It smelled like I wanted to smell. Not Indian bad, like stanky. Yeah, yeah, good. good smell, guys. Right out of the back, the music. The music's already hitting. I can't wait to check out the toilet. I think we're gonna take you guys to the toilet. Could this place be perfect? Could this place pass the Zaddy spat rating? I forgot to add, one of my favorite things about Indian restaurants and favorite drinks is the drink called mango lassi. That is a mango shake woven into ice cream, kulfi, no kulfi, no ice, um, no ice cream, just mango smoothie yogurt. And oh my gosh, if you haven't tried it, you have to try it. But you have to be ready to be blessing the toilet when you're home. One mango lassi. One um, samosa chaat and one butter chicken. One garlic naan and one uh, chili naan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, sure. This is our fourth butter chicken of the day. Yeah. yeah. We just love butter chicken, honestly. Yeah. This is amazing. Taste. Remember, like and subscribe. That was amazing. Yum or yum yum? Almost perfect. Almost. No. This is good. Crispy, hot, yummy filling. Everything perfect. But the thing with samosa chaat is it's meant to contrast cold yogurt and hot together. Presentation, I think that's a four. Four out of five. The reason why, because they just put it in a bowl, you know? I like how they cut the naan, that's definitely very good. So that's why it's up by four, but it's not like perfect. But what even if it's the definition of perfect, to be honest? But let's keep going. This is the classic Indian restaurant way. Beautiful. Here we go. One naan, one chicken, one man, one destination. <sighs> yum yum. That was beautiful. I like that. But the chicken was not that beast. Altogether, I think the taste is a 4.5 out of 5. Highest rated restaurant in Sydney. I think it's worth it. I agree. If you're looking to pay a little bit more, definitely come. As you can see, floors, slippery. Right now, I'm loving it. It's, I feel like it could be better smell. Could be better, but I like how there's also two doors in between the basin and the toilet. Next, let's go toilet. Very, very slippery. Hard to tell what liquid that is. <laughs> <laughs> two stalls, one urinal. What does that mean on a very, very packed night at the Grand Palace? Maybe towels, maybe paper, maybe a bit, one more urinal. The toilets are a two out of five. I know I'm sorry. So I'm sorry, Grand Palace, but that, that lowers it a bit. 
that lowers it a bit. But all in all, the food was good. The food was everything. Full butter chickens in me, and that's fine. In us, stop. Hope you found some new. I found some new. Keep, keep. Alright. <laughs> no, come, it's okay. All in all, that was a great experience with Indian food. I hope you got some knowledge on the best versus worst Indian restaurants rated in Sydney.